The sky is falling! The sky is falling! The sky is falling! Or is it? Hey everybody, I'm Tristan Amy with Mindful Living Realty, a realtor right here in Rapid City, South Dakota. And yes, that is a big old red scab on my face. Apparently, in the middle of the night, I decided I wanted to itch something and create a big red spot before video day. In this video, we're going to talk about the housing market. Is it going to crash in 2021? And more specifically, what's it going to do in the Black Hills and Rapid City area in 2021? If you've been watching the national news, articles, and videos, you're finding all sorts of information about a financial downturn, including a market crash that could supposedly rival that of 2008. So let's back up and talk about what happened in 2008. I was fortunate enough to be in real estate back then. I got my license in 2006, and it was just starting to get my residential database rolling. Good timing, eh? This nationwide crash was caused primarily by a bunch of loans given out to anybody with a pulse. All you had to do was state your income and they'd give you a loan. And by the way, why not buy a vacation home? The problem was these loans were five-year adjustable rate mortgages. So it started out really as a low payment and in five years got to be a bigger payment. So after five years happened, no one could afford their loans anymore and mass foreclosures ensued. Home values across the nation plummeted. In some areas, up to 50% or more. Real estate agents became specialists in foreclosures and short sales. At least, most did. In the Rapid City area, we saw a value decrease of only about 10% when everything was said and done. We were still working with actual buyers and actual sellers, and only about 15-20% to 20 of our market at that time was foreclosures and short sales. I was working with Prudential Real Estate at the time, and they had sent up a corporate manager to talk with us about how things were going and the market. Her words to us at that time, you guys are in heaven compared to the rest of the nation. For whatever the reason, our local market weathered the storm without any more than a cut on the cheek. In 2021, many financial experts are predicting another foreclosure special. Here's what they're looking at. In January 2021, all those forbearance mortgages, they'll come due. Now that forbearance wasn't just added to the end in every, every case. Some of it was tacked onto the beginning. So in January, all that money there, it's due. Now many homeowners may not have realized that this is a scenario. And even if they did know, the pandemic hasn't gotten any better, so they may not have the money to pay all that forbearance due at the beginning of the year, and thus roll into foreclosure. So that's a piece of what we're hearing from the financial experts across the country about a potential housing crisis in 2021. But what about our Rapid City area? We weathered the storm in 2008. What's to say we won't weather this one? Now, of course, I'm not an economist. I can't explain to you all the pluses and minuses. I do understand the basic supply and demand. And I can tell you what's going on right now. So let's talk about where things are at right now and based upon that information, where we might end up. Point number one. Inventory is stupid low. Now I know you've heard me say this all year, but it's a fact. About a month ago, I got into our backend MLS system. I typed in active and residential. There are 200 properties available to purchase in our Black Hills MLS system. 200. In 2015, that number was 600. In 2010, around the same time, that number was 900. So you can see, based on that information below, historically, inventory is stupid low. Point number two, buyer demand is high. Typically, we have cycles in the Rapid City real estate market. We've got a busy spring, and then in the summertime when everybody goes on vacation and they want to enjoy the summer, it slows down a little bit. We kind of have a summer doldrum. Then once we go back to school, every, the market comes back up again. And finally around the holidays and January cold time, it slows down a little bit. But this year, aside from a, a few weeks in March when the pandemic first hit our area, it has been nothing but go, go, go. I looked at a property even last night that just came on the market at noon. I had to schedule a 15-minute showing in the middle of everybody else. They had 15-minute showings the whole entire day. Multiple offers has been the norm. Escalation clauses, paying over asking price, waiving appraisals, waiving home inspections. All these things have been part of the market where the buyers are having a hard time getting that property. And I don't see this slowing down anytime soon. With the number of people that I've talked to after watching my videos, thank you, thank you by the way, there are a number of people that are planning on moving here in 2021 and 2022. And then there's a bunch of other people that are thinking about it and seeing how they can make it work. 
Plus, there's a new bomber mission in the works for Ellsworth Air Force Base, and that's supposed to bring in thousands of people. I'm not sure where we're going to put all those people, with everybody else coming in. Buyer demand is high. Point number three, prices are going up. So we've talked about low supply, and we've got high demand. Economics 101 says price is going to go up, right? Our average sold price for residential properties in November 2020 is $30,000 higher than November 2019. That's a 10% increase in one year. Prices are going up. Point Damos number four. Our unemployment rate is recovering here in Rapid City. Other than a couple months in March and April, when restaurants and other said gathering places were closed down, Rapid City was open for business. The unemployment rate at that time was about 30%, but now it's down to 5%. Rapid Cityans have their jobs and should have an easier time keeping up their mortgages than other people across the country. So do I see an imminent housing crash in the Rapid City area? Based on the information that I've just provided, not really. Sure, there's gonna be a few more foreclosures, but that'll be just fodder for those investors to pick up, renovate, either resell, add to the limited supply of inventory, or rent out and add to an already tight rental market. If there's anything I'm really concerned about in the Rapid City real estate market, it's the affordability of homes. I've heard stories about people asking thousands of our asking price, waiving the appraisals. What that does is it creates a huge comp for that area, for that neighborhood. Now, when the next seller goes to sell their property, they've got an established higher price comp that provides them a better value for their home. And then when they go to sell, it goes all over again. Now, I don't blame, of course, the owner for taking the extra money, the $10,000 on top of asking price. They're not going to say, oh, you know, I'm worried about the market. You just take your ten grand and, and, and keep that. I, I have no big deal. They're going to take that. I understand that. But what it's doing then is rising the prices and making affordability of homes more and more difficult. Even new construction is nuts. The buyers that couldn't find an existing home, well, they decided to go ahead and build. There are literally streets that are half full of houses, half full of empty lots, and sold markers on each one of those lots. The builders are just simply saying, we'll get to it when we get to it. Your closing date, to be determined. In addition to this, with the pandemic, the national disasters in the area, building supplies have been limited and harder to get, thus more expensive. Obviously, that raises the whole price of the new construction, higher and higher. Even in our new construction areas that are specifically designated as affordable housing, a new construction property is a small house, one car garage, still about 200 grand. All this being said, crazy things, unpredictable crazy things happen. I know we're all ready to leave 2020 in the dust, but you never know what might happen in 2021. My advice to home buyers and home sellers remains the same in the present market and going into 2021. Sellers, yes, you have the upper hand, but you got to take care of your stuff. Buyers aren't stupid and aren't going to buy junk. Make sure that you price it correctly. Let the market dictate any price over asking price. Buyers, be prepared, both physically and emotionally. Get your pre-approval in place. Know what you want. Have the courage to get into the game, put in some offers, and know that you may not win that very first one. It may take two or three or four to get to the property that you love. Trust your gut when the right one pops. Keep your chin up, enjoy the holidays. Thank you so much for watching, responding, commenting, and liking. And remember, love where you live.